The spirit of death, hopelessness, and despair has covered Iran. People have no hope for their future. 1,500 young people have been killed on the streets of Tehran, and the numbers are increasing every day. The government has shut down, by mistake, this airplane. And you know what? They had three days of mourning for the assassination of that general, but they don't allow people to mourn for their loved ones. Those who come on streets to just mourn for the death of these people, they get arrested, they get shot at, and many of them are being killed. What does that cause? That cause people to wake up to the reality of Islam. They don't allow the parents to mourn for the death of their children. There are parents in jail today just because they gathered with other people to mourn for the death of their child. That causes the people of Iran to wake up. What are we believing in? What is Islam? This is causing another layer of people, another group of Iranian Muslims to wake up to the reality of Islam and the reality of Islamic regime and makes them open to the message of the gospel. There is no hope in Iran except Jesus Christ. Lord has allowed to, for Iran to have no hope in people, in the future, in finances, to be in this despair so that he can be the only hope for Iran. He has allowed Iranians to receive bad news every day, bad news, bad news, so that they will be attracted to the only good news that exists, the good news of the gospel. Let's work together. This is the time to bring the gospel into Iran. This is a time millions of Iranians are done with Islam and more and more are deciding to reject Islam. This is the time for us to bring Jesus into Iran. Iran is ready for a revival. As we pray for Iran, and as we work together to bring hope into Iran, all these people on the streets that you see with no hope will come to Christ. Many of them will come to Christ, and there will be a movement in Iran. Let's work together.